Hello, I'm Jonathan Kay from the University of Massachusetts Medical School in Worcester, Massachusetts. I'm at ACR 2019 in Atlanta, and I just heard an interesting presentation by Dr. Ernest Choi about major adverse cardiovascular events and venous thromboembolic events in patients with rheumatoid arthritis from the integrated safety database of upadacitinib. He presented data from the five clinical trials in the phase three program of upadacitinib looking at two doses, 15 and 30 milligrams, as well as the comparators, methotrexate, adalimumab, 40 milligrams every other week, and placebo. What he presented was that the rates of major adverse cardiovascular events and venous thromboembolic events overlapped for all of the treatment groups. Upadacitinib at 15 and 30 milligrams taken by mouth daily, adalimumab, 40 milligrams taken subcutaneously every other week, methotrexate, and placebo. All of the patients with major adverse cardiovascular events had at least one cardiovascular risk factor, and patients with venous thromboembolic events also had risk factors for venous thromboembolic events, such as a prior deep venous thrombosis, a knee replacement, or other risk factors. The conclusion of the study was that there was no dose relationship between upadacitinib and the occurrence of these events, and the rate of these events was similar for upadacitinib with the comparators adalimumab, methotrexate, and placebo. What this does not answer is the question as to why patients treated with JAK inhibitors are developing venous thromboembolic events. It's not related to platelet counts, uh, since platelet counts did not change significantly throughout the time period that patients were treated with upadacitinib, and patients on placebo also developed these events. It will be very important to understand the mechanism whereby venous thromboembolic events occur in patients treated with JAK inhibitors so that we can predict which patients are at risk and treat them appropriately to prevent this devastating adverse effect, uh, which may be an effect of this class of medications and may be completely unrelated. For more information, go to Room Now. I'm Jonathan Kay. Thanks. Great. Great. Okay. You're always first take, Dr. Kay. Okay. <laughs>